Hey guys, I was at Costco today. It looks like they just brought out a new solar power type S wireless backup camera with extended battery life. Anyways, it's $149. I saw they just brought this out at my Costco, so it might be at your Costco. So check it out. They also sell similar ones online. I'll leave a few links below. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for the Sterling W channel because I do a lot of Costco finds because I visit Costco quite a bit. I also do back reviews as well as DIYs and also comparison tests between other years. So I've already installed this before in 2017 this is the 2020 version of this i'm going to do a quick overview of the features and some of the new um, features and and differences of the old and new one such as the new batteries that they quote unquote doubled the battery capacity as well as you know actually looking into the details of this in the end of the video so as you can see the new design looks a little different it's still very simple the camera is actually on the side they have a new touch screen swipe up swipe down uh, monitor it's a 6.8 um, inch color monitor it's also motion sensor activated in front so you just wave your hand and it turns it on to activate it 720p still for the camera it's 160 degree wide angle solar charge and you can expand this to another camera 6.8 um, hd monitor it's adjustable adjustments for the lines and stuff are inside there you can actually put the camera in the front and back and there's also a single camera view and also double camera view if you have two cameras on this thing. There's a UPC code if you want the UPC code. Um, again, all you really need is another frame of these and I'm not sure if they even carry um, a secondary uh, camera for the front because it only comes with one camera in the in the box. So if you bought two of these, that's what, 300 bucks? So, but it's still worth it compared to actually, you know, well, up to you. But I, I, if they carry that editor camera, it costs another, what, hundred bucks then I, I don't know i haven't been able to find that um secondary camera anyways you can mount this to a trailer or a car or a truck i have it on my uh, cargo van as well as my car the range is like 33 feet unobstructed so if there's a lot of metal it's gonna be kind of um, it's probably cut short anyways installing is very simple you basically charge this thing up and then you take replace your license plate frame with this thing and you turn it on at pairs it's really that simple it comes with a mount and power Power and power for the monitor that's all you really need to do you should charge up that battery before um, before installing this thing and test it uh, again the maximum signal and other specs are here here's what the package includes as well you know there's a windshield mount there's even a mounting screw nut and other fun stuff and a dash mount too so you, it pretty much mounts in most places now the changes is that they offset the camera now as well as they added like a larger battery pack in fact two on each side so that you can actually hold more because I guess a lot of people are complaining that it gets obstructed and also the solar panels are now at the side. They kind of expect you to charge every two, at least two hours of full sunlight every day. My cars are actually left out, you know, in the sunlight throughout the day because they're not in the garage sometimes. So anyways, the only th the major difference is also it's 5,000 milliamp battery versus the 3,350 milliamp hours of my 2017 version or the previous versions. So. That's really about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and a quick comparison. Like I said, I already did a DIY and unboxing video previously. Big thank you to all 11,000 subscribers to the Sony W channel. Like, subscribe, leave some comments below. That Type S solar panel review and install video, you know, it's already three years and I've already sold that car, but my other one still works. So, you know, and it's left in the sun. So I think it's going to last another year before I have to replace it. Check out the other unboxing and reviews of some that on the Sony W channel, whether it's DIYs, reviews, or, you know, unboxings, as well as price checks for new Costco items. Anyways, see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.